For now 15 years, the Crested Butte Music Festival has opened, inspired and changed lives. It brings momentary transcendence to almost every listener at each performance, but by exposing people to world-class artistry in an intimate alpine setting, the music festival has impacted people's lives in far more dramatic ways. My name is Alexander Shirely. I am the festival director of the Crest Butte Music Festival and part of an incredible team, both administrative and artistic. Our mission is to present an annual festival of diverse music, opera and dance performed by outstanding artists to inspire a greater appreciation of these art forms and to help develop the performers of tomorrow. Developing the performers of tomorrow has become a key element of our festival. The four-day bluegrass kids camp with 40 kids this summer, the brass camp with Boston Brass and 13 students, our opera children's chorus with 24 kids this summer, and last but not least, the almost incredible success story of our Young Artist Program for Opera Singers that has attracted over 500 students to audition for us this year. When Keith Miller and I started this program back in 2007, we had a dream and we were convinced that with this Young Artist program, we could, with the adequate support, surpass all other Young Artist programs for opera singers in this country. What we never could have guessed is that we would only need five years to get to where we are today. With Marcello Giordani, one of the world's leading tenors as its name patron and head mentor, the program propelled to the very, very top of the Young Artist programs. Our Marcello Giordani Young Artist program has gained reputation not just nationally, but also internationally and will allow us to audition and select the next generation of singers worldwide. This is the third year that I've been in charge of the Young Artist program. You know, when Alexander Shirely first came to me and asked me about taking over the Young Artist program, we talked about whether we wanted to base the program on quality or quantity. We decided to base it on quality, and that's what we've done ever since. This year, we have over 500 applicants for our Young Artist Program, something that is really remarkable in the short time that we've been here. We have international students of the highest caliber coming to the program this year, and Marcello Giordani, the world-renowned tenor, has signed on as our title sponsor for the program. This is huge for a program of this size and this early in our stage of development. A society without culture, arts, and especially music, is a dead society. That's not something that we have here in Crested Butte. This program, the Marcello Giordani Young Artist Program and the Opera Children's Chorus, is a program where we're trying to build leaders. How do you build leaders in fine arts? We have to think out of the box. We have to push them in ways that no one else has pushed young artists and young children so that they can exceed not only what I've done or Marcello has done, but the hopes and dreams that anybody else has for them in this room. To do that, we need your support. We are doing everything that we can to provide them with the best education in the world, bar none. I give you my word on that. I have seen other programs. I know what we are doing at Crested Butte. Marcello knows what we're doing here. We all believe in this. We believe in you. We need your support. And thank you so much for everything that you have done and everything that you are doing. Last summer was our opera children's chorus. In addition to our opera program, a two-week summer camp for children was initiated and established last year. This summer, we received already three times as many applications for this now three weeks training program of coaching, singing, team building, dancing, outdoor activities, and of course, performing as part of our main stage opera production of the opera Carmen. These kids train with staff members of the Metropolitan Opera, such as stage director Sarah Myers, dance captain Linda Gilinas, or bass baritone Keith Miller. And at the end, they get to perform with Maestro David Cyrus from the Royal Opera of Covent Garden in London. 
Crested Butte local Eva Lips attended last year's Opera Children's Chorus and had a life-changing experience. It was amazing, just awesome. I um, kind of went in blind because my grandma signed me up because she just knew I love singing, so um, I didn't really know what it was about and um, now I'm doing it again and I just am really looking forward to it and I hope it's going to be just as great this year. I wish all kids would have the experience like this because it got to, it gave us um, small town children a chance to really um, experience um, some things we never would really get to experience here. And I, I really loved it because um, when I first started, I just did singing for something for fun, and now I um, am really going to pursue it as a career. The Crested Butte Music Festival draws musicians who share not only artistic excellence, but also the desire to pass on the torch, in particular to young people. The festival brings music to children in playful, intriguing, and interactive ways. But learning isn't just for the youngsters. The festival focuses on making music accessible to everyone in the community. On this summer's slate, 17 concerts are free or pay what you can to broaden the reach of the music. In addition, the festival is committed to educating and enhancing people's experience. Each year, we present an unusual instrument, introduce concerts from the stage and offer several pre-performance lectures. In a small open community like Crested Butte, the music festival has a far greater impact on the community than other festivals, because musicians are not just musicians, they are the people's neighbors. It is the leadership that implements these programs and we have an incredibly dedicated staff that not only does the job, but is fully committed to have a positive impact on other people's lives. However, it is your support that makes a difference. Without it, there wouldn't be a festival or any of our educational programs. You make an impact. Help us to continue to inspire and change lives. Thank you.